Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's short video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going better than fantastic. And I hope your journey to self-betterment is going even better. And part of the self-betterment hopefully is getting better at sidestepping the narcissist and keeping them out of your life the best you can. And one of the best ways to do that was mentioned by one of my subscribers. And as they put it, let the narcissist play their hand. And before I share with you what that could look like, I want to thank you all for all of your comments and being a part of this channel. Because the more we share the more we grow. It's so so important. But regarding the comment. Letting the narcissist or whoever you're dealing with play their hand. And how that might look or possibly should look is to do what we've talked about many times before. And that's being a good observer. You can be friendly and even at times talkative without sharing important details that a narcissist can zoom in on. Along with balancing things out with being quiet at times as well. Really get to know people over a long period of time. Observe what is happening in this relationship. No matter if you are dating this person or if you are just a workmate. Or someone you are starting a friendship with. If you take your time. And kind of step back like you are watching a movie so to speak. You can start to see things in slow motion. And if you start to see narcissistic traits. Gaslighting. Projection. They show good character today and poor character tomorrow. And please know it's not on you to point out they are possibly trying to gaslight you or someone else. Just step back and pretend like it didn't even happen. And just let them play their hand. And honestly this is the mistake many of us make. We think we have to dive in and fix everyone when we can only fix ourselves. I know I did this with my ex Susie. I tried so hard to point out at where things were wrong and I tried so hard to get her to see the light. That her behavior was hot and cold. When in reality she knew all of this already. She was however. Overjoyed that I was working hard to try to help her try to understand the problems she was causing. Because she knew she had me on the hook. However. What I should have done was just stepped back. Watched her behavior. And once I realized what and who I was dealing with. I could have just backed away slowly. And she would have likely moved on to another target. The same with work. I've mentioned before. There were times I've caught myself. Where I felt like I wanted to say something to someone at work. But I didn't say what I was going to say. Then a week or two later. I was so thankful I didn't tell this person this particular thing. Because they over that time. Showed me something about their character that made me understand that telling them this particular thing would have been a big mistake in one way or another. So observe. Observe. Let them play their hand and don't react. But move slowly and carefully away. Well that's all I have for now. Again thank you for your comments. And thank you for being a part of this channel. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.